The future of solar vehicles, exploring the technology that will change the world. Back in 1955 at the General Motors Powerama Auto Show in Chicago, a remarkable sight captured the imagination of attendees. It wasn't just any vehicle. It was a small, 15-inch long wonder called the Sunmobile, the world's first solar-powered car. This futuristic marvel hinted at a world where vehicles could be fueled by a clean, boundless energy source, the sun. Fast forward to today, where discussions on combating the climate crisis dominate global agendas and the need to revolutionize transportation remains serious. Despite over six decades passing since the unveiling of the Sunmobile, why hasn't the automobile market been flooded with solar-powered alternatives? Let's dive into the intricacies of solar vehicle technology to uncover the answers and explore the promising advancements shaping the future of transportation. The journey of solar vehicles has been like watching a seed grow into a towering tree over the past few decades. It all started with the Sunmobile, a tiny model dreamed up by William G. Cobb back in the 1950s. This miniature marvel ran on solar power, but its capabilities were limited by the technology of the time. Despite its promise, it remained a glimpse into the future rather than a practical solution. Fast forward to 1960, when the first full-sized solar car hit the scene. International National Rectifier, a U.S. company, took a vintage 1912 Baker Electric and transformed it into a solar-powered wonder. While it could only muster a modest speed of 12 miles per hour, or 20 kilometers an hour, for three hours, it marked a significant step forward in solar vehicle development. Then came the Bluebird in 1977, a milestone in solar vehicle history. Crafted by Ed Passaneri, this three-wheeled wonder relied solely on the energy generated by its photovoltaic cells, ditching the need for a battery. By 1982, the quiet achiever upped the ante by becoming the first solar-powered car to conquer long distances. Its epic journey across Australia showcased the potential of solar energy for practical use. The 1980s saw the birth of solar vehicle racing, a trend that continues today. Events like the Tour de Sol and the World Solar Challenge pushed the boundaries of solar-powered transportation. However, these races primarily feature lightweight vehicles adorned with solar panels resembling oversized bicycles rather than the cars we're accustomed to. So where does the future of solar vehicles lie? While racing remains a driving force in innovation, the focus is shifting towards practical applications. Advances in solar technology, battery efficiency, and vehicle design are paving the way for solar cars to become a viable option for everyday transportation. Today, outside the realm of high-speed racing, solar-powered cars are still a rarity on the roads. Several challenges stand in the way of their widespread adoption in the consumer market. One of the key reasons why solar vehicles have yet to achieve widespread adoption is the limited of energy storage technologies. While solar panels can efficiently harness energy from the sun, storing that energy for later use poses significant challenges. Current battery technologies, which serve as the primary storage solution for solar vehicles, have limitations in both capacity and efficiency. Traditional lithium-ion batteries, while widely used in electric vehicles, still struggle to provide the energy density needed for extended driving ranges. This limitation directly impacts the practicality of solar vehicles for everyday use, as drivers require significant range to travel long distances without frequent recharging. Furthermore, the efficiency of energy storage and conversion processes within the batteries can also affect the overall performance of solar vehicles. Losses incurred during charging and discharging cycles reduce the amount of usable energy stored in the battery impacting the vehicle's range and power output. As a result, despite advancements in battery technology, solar vehicles often face limitations in terms of range, speed, and overall performance compared to conventional gasoline-powered vehicles. This disparity in performance can deter consumers from adopting solar vehicles as their primary mode of transportation, especially when considering factors like convenience and reliability. Another significant hurdle of the widespread adoption of solar vehicles is the lack of supporting infrastructure particularly in the form of charging stations. Unlike traditional gasoline-powered vehicles or EVs, which have well-established networks of refueling or recharging stations, solar vehicles face challenges in accessing convenient and reliable charging facilities. The infrastructure for solar vehicles is not as developed or widespread as that for traditional or electric vehicles. While EVs can typically rely on a 
network of charging stations powered by the grid, solar vehicles often lack dedicated infrastructure tailored to their unique energy needs. One of the primary reasons for the limited availability of solar vehicle charging stations is the relatively low number of solar-powered vehicles on the roads. Without a critical mass of vehicles requiring solar charging, there's less incentive for businesses and governments to invest in building the necessary infrastructure. Moreover, the technology and standards for solar vehicle charging stations are still in the early stages of development compared to those for electric vehicles. This lack of standardized infrastructure can create challenges for solar vehicle owners owners, including compatibility issues and limited options for charging locations. Additionally, the cost of installing solar charging stations can be prohibitive, further hindering their widespread deployment. Businesses and governments may be reluctant to invest in infrastructure for a technology that has yet to gain mainstream acceptance or demonstrate a clear economic return on investment. High initial costs represent another significant barrier to the widespread adoption of solar vehicles. Compared to traditional gasoline-powered vehicles or even electric cars, solar vehicles often come with a pretty hefty price tag which can deter potential buyers from making the switch to solar-powered transportation. The production costs of solar vehicles are inherently higher due to several factors. Firstly, integrating solar panels into the vehicle's design adds to the manufacturing expenses. While solar panels themselves have become more affordable over time, the process of seamlessly integrating them into a vehicle's structure requires specialized engineering and manufacturing techniques, which can in turn drive up production costs. Additionally, the technology used in solar vehicles, including high-efficiency photovoltaic cells and advanced batteries, systems tend to be more expensive than conventional automotive components. Innovations in solar energy and battery efficiency have helped to reduce costs over time, but solar vehicles still generally command a premium price compared to their non-solar counterparts. Furthermore, economies of scale play a significant role in the cost of solar vehicles. With relatively low demand and production volumes compared to conventional vehicles, manufacturers may struggle to achieve cost efficiencies in production, leading to higher per unit costs. Despite these hurdles, there have been notable initiatives aiming to bring solar-powered cars to the masses. One standout example is the Light Gear 1. This innovative vehicle boasts an impressive range of 435 miles, that's 700 kilometers, on a single charge, thanks to its advanced photovoltaic cells. These cells, designed to store 20% more energy than traditional ones, can even function independently when partially shaded. However, with a hefty price tag of $161,000, the Lightyear One remains out of reach for most consumers. Nonetheless, its technology holds promise for future applications by other manufacturers. Another contender in the solar car arena is the Sono Scion. Equipped with 248 solar cells distributed across its body, this vehicle can extend its range by an additional 21 miles, or 34 kilometers, on solar power, supplementing its 155 mile or 250 kilometer battery range. Priced at a more accessible 28,500 the Sono Scion represents a step towards making solar-powered transportation more attainable for everyday drivers. Unfortunately, not all solar car projects have been successful. Some, like the Spanish-designed Mo, aim to offer more affordable urban mobility, but face challenges securing financing. With a modest price tag of 5,000 euros, the Mo was designed as a practical solution for city travel. However, funding difficulties led to the discontinuation of the project, highlighting the ongoing obstacles in bringing affordable solar vehicles to market. Despite setbacks, the pursuit of solar-powered transportation continues, driven by a shared vision of a more sustainable future. As technology advances and costs decrease, the dream of solar cars becoming a mainstream mode of transportation may not be as distant as it seems. The dream of widespread adoption of solar-powered cars may still be on the horizon, but solar energy is finding its place in the world of sustainable transportation in other ways. One promising avenue is solar-charged vehicles, which utilize electricity generated externally by solar panels. These panels can be installed on rooftops, such as those on houses or garages, providing a renewable source of power for electric or hybrid cars. Additionally, there is a growing trend of integrating solar panels onto the roofs of electric or hybrid vehicles themselves. While these panels may not directly propel the car forward, they can serve as a supplementary power source, powering auxiliary systems like air conditioning. This approach has already been explored in various commercial models, showcasing the potential for solar energy to enhance the efficiency and sustainability 
of transportation. However, it's important to acknowledge that relying solely on photovoltaic panels for vehicle travel hasn't yet proven to be a practical solution for replacing fossil fuels. Nonetheless, integrating solar technology into transportation systems can play a valuable role in reducing reliance on non-renewable energy sources and mitigating environmental impact. Ultimately, the future of sustainable transportation hinges on levering a combination of clean technologies to optimize efficiency and maximize environmental footprint. As advancements continue to be made in solar energy and electric vehicle technology, the potential for solar-powered transportation to become a more viable option remains bright. If you enjoyed this video, please watch the next one and subscribe to the channel.